So today I thought we'd do a little bit of a fun video. I wanted to go over my knife bag. So this is the bag that I take with me everywhere I go with the sharpening demonstrations that we do um, and any kind of like knife pop-up stores. So right here, I have the Corin nylon bag. This is the bag that I like to use because it's very durable and it holds everything that I need in it. So let's go through everything we have in here. So let's start with the most important tool for me, this guy right here. This is the Sun Tiger 220 Rough Stone, and I really couldn't live without this stone. When I go to these restaurants or hotels, and I gotta sharpen knives, a lot of times the knives have nicks in them, or they're quite dull. So this allows me to repair these knives on site in a fairly timely manner. Uh, again, I love this stone, and I use this consistently when I go out. Uh, the next stone I got here, this is my King Hyper 1000 Grit Stone. This is my medium stone that I use for sharpening as well. And I bring this one out because I like to explain things in conjunction with the other King Stone, the King Deluxe Stone. Um, I always like to explain the differences between the same grits, but the different qualities of the stone. Here I have my Kitayama 8000 grit finishing stone. This is by far my favorite finishing stone. So when I'm sharpening a knife, I like to polish it up to a nice 8000 grit, and this really does a great job of refining the edge. Here is our Corin Diamond Stone, which is a double-sided stone. I use this a lot if I ever have to work on a traditional single bevel knife. Uh, because with the Diamond Stones, the surface is always flat, it's really nice to use for these traditional single bevel knives. And here we have our stone base. Um, this just gives a little bit of grip when I'm sharpening in a kitchen or on a restaurant dining table. It just gives a nice grip so that it's more secure and safe. Now here, this is my stone fixer. I do need to fix my stones constantly. Even as I'm sharpening out on site, uh, I gotta make sure that my stones are flat. So I do bring around a small stone fixer just to make sure that I can repair my stones on the go. Now, I'm sure you guys have noticed that a lot of my stones are chipped or cracked, um, but I do that for a reason. Uh, I don't wanna replace it with a brand new stone every time I crack it because it's a waste. And I wanna explain to everyone and all the chefs that just because you chipped off a corner of your stone doesn't mean you have to get rid of it. As long as you have a good surface to work on, your stone is perfectly fine and usable. So these stones, even though they're chipped, should last you many, many years. So pro tip, just because you chip your stones doesn't mean you have to get a new one. So now here are two knives that I use for my Western style knife sharpening demonstrations. Now I like to bring both of them because these two at one point were the same size. They both started out as a 240 millimeter chef knife. As you can see, this is a lot smaller now. So I always like to compare and contrast to show people that if you take care of your knives and you sharpen it properly, you can use it till a chef knife becomes a utility knife or a petty knife and still continue to sharpen it. And last but not least, I do have my traditional Japanese Yanagi. This is for those customers who ask me about traditional Japanese knives and how to properly sharpen them. I don't bring this guy out as much, but if I'm requested to, I do have one on hand just so that I can show the proper technique for sharpening a single bevel knife. So this is what I carry around every time I go out, and this is what's in my knife bag.